Well, good morning and welcome to this week's episode of Bible Study Live, an interactive Bible study where you get to ask your questions and we can answer them right on the spot here. So because we're going to be studying a very holy book today, I believe we should begin with prayer before we answer the question, will Satan die? Well, let's pray together. Father in heaven, thank you for this wonderful book, the Bible. We thank you that we can open it and find all our hope and answers to our most difficult questions. Ask God that you would guide us and direct us through it today. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, many people want to know, will Satan die? And this question comes in, or this answer comes in response to a question that we got on Facebook. And we encourage you, if you have a question, send it in because uh, we want to be able to answer it. And just maybe your question will make it on the show. This person asks, since the devil is a spiritual being and has lived for many thousands of years, will he ever die? And by the way, we don't really know how old the devil is. We know the earth is about 6,000-ish years old, but we're not exactly sure how old the devil is. Since the devil is a spiritual being and has lived for many thousands of years, will he ever die? Will he cause pain and suffering forever? And this is a very important question. The devil is launching his attacks on us all the time right now. Uh, causing cancer, causing death, causing poverty, starvation, causing sadness, depression, you name it, the devil has pulled out all the stops to try to, to hinder our relationship with God. But before we answer this question, let's do let's do a little background with, uh, with Lucifer. He was a uh, created being by God. The Bible says he was perfect in the ways that he was created. So God not, did not create a, a defective angel. This angel, just like the rest and us, had the power of choice, the freedom to choose to follow God or not, and he chose to rebel. And this began a wave of a war that took place in heaven, and ultimately, Satan was able to convince one-third of the angels to rebel with him, and they were ejected out of heaven. And in Ezekiel 28, and I encourage you to read this today, in the Bible in Ezekiel chapter 28, we see a parallel that God uses the characteristics of the king of Tyre to illustrate the characteristics and ultimate uh, demise of Lucifer, who became Satan. So it lists his qualities. He was a beautiful creature, he was a beautiful covering angel, the Bible says. He even was a guardian. The Bible says that he was a, a guardian in heaven. So this was not the evil wickedness that you think of today, but he began to want to be God. He began to want to be worshipped as God. He was no longer happy worshipping and serving God. He wanted to be worshipped and served. And in the end of this uh, this statement in the book of Ezekiel, we come down to this in Ezekiel chapter 28, verse 19. It says, All who knew you among the peoples are astonished at you. This is written in past tense because uh, Ezekiel is relating a vision that he already saw. All who knew you among the peoples are astonished at you. You have become a horror and shall be no more forever. Now, that's important to know. This means the devil will not go on forever and ever and ever tempting God's people, causing pain, causing death and destruction. The Bible says he will have an end. I may go back just one verse before that. In verse 18, it says, You defiled your sanctuaries by the multitude of your iniquity, by the iniquity of your trading. Therefore, I brought fire from your midst. It devoured you. And I turned you to ashes upon the earth in the sight of all who saw you. This means in the lake of fire, the devil will be consumed. God's intention is to do away with sin forever. The only way he can do away with sin is to do away with the originator of sin. We have two choices. The Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. We follow God, we get life. We follow the devil, we get death. The choice is yours. 
Father in heaven, thank you for this message today. We thank you that, um, that the devil will have an end. And God, we know that even that will cause pain in your heart. But God, we thank you that you have a bigger, brighter future in store for us. Help us to always follow you. And we thank you and ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, be sure to like and share what you're learning on social media. Visit and like us on Facebook. Visit and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And visit and subscribe to the website at BeholdTheSavior.com. Thank you, and God bless.